Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today I'm going to show you how to grab an FLV video from YouTube. Now, there's easier ways to grab FLV videos from YouTube, of course, and uh, one way is to go to one of my YouTube tutorials on downloading videos from YouTube and creating a player. So you'll use a Google add-on called Fast Video Downloads. The icon will appear at the lower right hand of your screen. You just click it whenever you want one of those YouTube uh, videos, and it will download directly to your hard drive. Now, the reason we're using Wireshark to do it, however, is because it allows us or shows us how to dig deeper into content that does not necessarily appear accessible to us from the web. So what I'm going to do now is grab a Narnia video. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring up a browser. So let's click on Firefox and bring up a browser. And so we have a blank page here. And we're going to paste in the video that we want to bring up. And I'll show you that real quick. So here's the Chronicles of Narnia video, and it's set to the Whispers tune. It's the final battle. So if you've watched this movie, uh, I'll tell you at the very end, the witch is absolutely glorious in her role. And uh, if you are, are interested in something more than the 3D, uh, this is the movie for you. So let's go ahead and download this video using Wireshark. So I'll stop this. So we're in Wireshark now, and we're going to attempt to capture the address that we need to download the FLV video. So the first thing I want you to do is bring up a blank browser and paste the Narnia address, the YouTube Narnia address, in there. Don't hit go yet uh, or navigate to the uh, site. Let's first of all clear our uh, Wireshark and start the capture process. So let's find the active IP and hit start. Uh, continue without saving, so it blanks the screen, so I'm going to know exactly what packets are coming in based upon these commands and activities. Now you're ready to hit the uh, Go to Navigate button and click on that. And now you can see you're grabbing those packets. And we we'll go ahead and stop the capture because we have what we need. Now there's a lot of information here, and if we go to the top, we want to go to the Git and click on that. And you can see down here in all these bits, what we're looking for is here in all this uh, information. <laughs> But that's kind of hard to work with, so what I want you to do is go ahead and you can also search in the next panel as well. But an easy way to grab this is just go to Analyze and go to Follow TCP Stream. When you click on that, let's just kind of scroll down to the bottom. And what that TCP Stream is doing is putting all that together for you in something we can recognize. And we can see the address we're looking for is right here in the Git Video Stream. So let's go ahead and scroll over here. So this is the actual address we're looking for, but we have to put it together. That's not all of it. The other part obviously is the www.youtube.com host. So let's go ahead and bring up a browser and paste those pieces in and see if we do indeed navigate to the video that of interest. So I've got a blank browser up here. Let's take the first piece, which is www.youtube.com. Copy that. And I'll paste that in my browser and put a forward slash. And the second piece is the get video, video piece, and that's what's being hidden from me in the other uh, HTTP page. So let's bring that. And don't grab the HTTP part. That's just uh, telling you where it's coming from. And now we're going to paste that together. All right, let's paste that in. And now when we, and make sure it's OK, so that's fine. And now when we hit the uh, Go To button, it's ready to save the video. Isn't that cool? So let's go ahead and save the video in My Documents, and we're going to go back to that and actually put that in a player. So we'll call that Narnia Video, and hit Save. And now that's downloading to my hard drive. So once again, there are easier ways to do this, uh, but I'm showing this to you to give you the mechanisms that you need to dig down and actually uh, data mine other information. So I placed a video in my documents, navigate to it, my documents. And let's find it real quick here. So if you recall, we called it Narnia Video. And uh, it really doesn't know what it is right now. So we're going to rename this. So we'll rename it narniavideo.flv. And now it knows it's a FLV video. Let's put that in a player. So let me talk a little bit about FLVs because FLVs are a video format that Google has adopted as their main format but can be somewhat problematic. 
Two of those problems fall in the fact that they can't be edited. Now, that's not necessarily true anymore. There are editors for FLV uh, programs out there, so just go check the web and you'll find one. However, the other problem is they're difficult to play. You need an FLV player. You can go to my YouTube video I referenced earlier and create that player, or you can do something that's really cool. Adobe has created a product called Bridge, and we can just right-click and open this up and play it in Bridge. So if you have the Adobe Suite on your computer, you should have Bridge as well. Let's go ahead and open this with Bridge. And if, if the uh, Bridge icon does not show, you basically have to navigate to the program Bridge and bring it up. And we've brought up Bridge. And you can see in Bridge the Narnia video is showing. And we're going to go ahead and play that real quick. And there you have it. You've actually used Wireshark to download the Narnia video, renaming it to an FLV, and now playing it in Bridge. Isn't that cool? So uh, good luck with it. We're going to show you an example where you can actually use this for something even more to mine data that you didn't know was there.